Okay, so we basically follow my again with uh, So this is my game with uh, Motilev, and um, Luke actually did something which I had rejected during the game. During my game I thought this was not um, that easy to play, but uh, probably today after seeing it from the other side, I have to admit that it's uh, not easy for white either. So, my castle. Now there are many moves, uh, e5 or something, but what uh, Luke did, of course, is uh, one critical way. The main point is if black can sort of half consolidate, then white is uh, almost lost because the point is have to get at least one back. And luckily with this, I managed to do that. I think the only uh, thing that black should not do here is this, which he correctly avoided. Because I go here, and now he's losing this knight. If he goes queen b6, Sorry, queen c7. And then it's very important I have to play this move. If I go knight b6, he plays rook b8. And it's not immediately obvious how uh, I have to... I mean, his next move is bishop b8. It looks very passive, but I'm not getting anywhere. So it seems paradoxical, but in fact I have to help him develop his rook. It comes here. Uh, this, for instance, doesn't help because I take. And if he takes to the bishop, then knight b6 and rook b1 and that knight has no squares. If uh, knight c6, then knight b6, rook b8, rook b1, and now he has to do something like knight e5, which is again not very pleasant. I, I suspect after queen c6, black hasn't really resolved anything if I just go rook f1, for instance. I have also moves like queen f2 suddenly with this, the same idea. But um, well, I think Luke reacted correctly. And now, in fact, because it's only two pawns, and uh, because I have a passed pawn here, um, I think white is not running any risk. But I suspect neither is black if he's a little bit uh, patient. And, uh, okay, one. Knight b7. And now, okay, I just want to protect this knight, so I go queen b4. That gives me some possibilities like rook b2 or rook. In fact, if black simply waits here, uh, I didn't see how I can make any progress. He did this, which is fine. And it's only here that he makes a blunder. I, already he was running short of time though, so. Uh, because when you're playing black, probably you're worried about the. you know, some kingside attack or something, but I couldn't really make anything work. I think we concluded if queen b7, then I was seriously thinking about repeating moves. So I don't see that either side can make much progress. It's not easy for black to make progress also, but, but he has a lot of pawns. But after this, he simply fell into the first uh, trap, which is rook d6. Suddenly black's position is quite unpleasant, because I have uh, knight b4. But in fact, it seems that black too has a lot of resources. Uh, that's the that's a correct move. Right here, this knight takes e6. Now it's quite nice. It, it seems that king f7 is a mistake, and the reason is the bishop and king. So I'll go knight c7. He goes rook c8. I go knight b5, and suddenly I'm threatening rook takes b7, uh, followed by knight d6. So. Um, I think we decided in the end that surprisingly a move like rook b8 um, is sort of okay for black. Because um, even if I get this pawn, black comes in. And it's suddenly very awkward to make progress. And I mean, I'm, I've now achieved almost all I wanted. Uh, I have an hour, three pass pawn and so on, but it still has to run the gauntlet. So, I mean, I suspect. 
black will still be okay, but uh, already have options like coming back and bringing the knight to b5 or something. So okay, clearly white is one a very important pawn. But uh, he went here, and now it's to here because I think he has to go rook c8 anyway. I go knight d5, and again here I think uh, this is worth uh, a try. But even rook a5, and I have this uh, move after which I think black cannot uh, save himself. Okay, if knight b4, he has knight c5, so I just had to find one precise move, which is c5. And um, even more important than uh, the fact that my pawn is advancing is that I'm depriving him some the key squares. So um, he went bishop uh, b7. So I have to go rook c1. Rook c1 is now knight b4 is a very strong threat. Knight c6. It turns out that any bishop move allows knight d4. The idea of um, Say bishop takes b7, then knight e2 check. Again, it's possible I can win a piece and come down to something, but there's simply no need for getting into this sort of mess. Knight c7. And it's very difficult for black to actually do anything about this knight. If, for instance, a3, then I come here, and if a2, then I have uh, bishop c4 check, takes a2. But, okay, he, he, he was already in down to second, so he went here and after check and uh, rook d1, I won a rook up, so. Okay, I have one question. Um, there was something about your resignation and told <coughs> that it was supposed to be premature. How do you feel about it yourself now? Uh, no, I mean, uh, premature it's not. After I mean, after knight d3, I think uh, it won't even be more than half an hour, uh, because e6 is collapsing. And, uh, no, I don't think that's premature. Um, now, first of all, I underestimated the position of f5, but I think simply I made four moves which are just very bad. One is to go queen d5. In fact, I should go for my ideal setup right away, which is to put the rook on d5 and the queen floating in the side. Maybe white's better, but uh, at least I don't have to resign. And so on. Uh, I mean, I played like five blunders, and uh, that was it. Uh, and I go, I, I, I resigned with very clear functions. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. How, Any you other questions? Yeah. How do you how do you evaluate your chances uh, at this point? I don't mean I don't mean this game. I mean in the, in the tournament. Uh, <coughs> chances in the tournament. Yeah. <laughs> That's a. I mean, you're do, not, I, you're do not, I have any? I mean, okay. I mean, I play, but <laughs> I didn't learn to play game from game. I think there's nothing to think about really. So. Come, coming from behind, in, at least in recent times, it's not been not been. Uh, you haven't had to do that. Okay, well, no, first of all, there's a one and a half point gap, so, I mean, I, okay, I'll turn up tomorrow and see. <laughs> if it gets better, it gets better, but uh, I'm not really thinking in terms of the tournament. I just want to play some good games. So. But you won the tournament lots of times, and uh, now it's going uh, slightly uh, worse, uh, perhaps, than uh, than your normal choruses. <laughs> what, what is the difference this year, do you think? What's the reason? Mm -hmm. you... Well, I mean, I'd rather not get into postmortems yet. I mean, okay, clearly, it's a disaster this year, but um, okay, I don't want to start analyzing it yet. I still have four games, and I'll okay, try to do course. something there. Yes. Okay. Good luck. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.